Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look at day one of Summer Stars and how it was juiced. EA did the business with this team that is in PAX. Basically, some of the performances that they did give for these national teams that are playing in the Euros or Copa America. And they actually went out and they juiced these cards. I want to talk about that. The first ever non-Icon 99 rated cards in FIFA as well. It only took them until July to release 99 rated Ronaldo and Messi, usually during team of the year, we get those. So definitely later this year, which does not make sense, but it is what it is. We'll talk about the Shakiri SBC, talk about the Goosen's objective and how these cards and how the market reacted to some of this stuff today. It really went down exactly how we thought it was going to happen. Now, this is the Summer Stars team. So we were right with that loading screen. It was Richarlison, De Bruyne, and Dumfries based off those hints that they gave us. But again, we had two 99 rated cards included today with Ronaldo and Messi. So that puts to bed any of the thoughts that Pele had a deal with EA Sports to be the only 99 rated card in this game, um, unless that deal had like an end date or something. I don't know. But we finally got a 99 Ronaldo and a 99 Messi, both with, you know, pretty big stat upgrades. Now, I think a couple of these cards, and this is where the hype is today, is just the amount of stat boost that they put on some of these cards. Remember how we were talking about we would we were hoping De Bruyne would have high high 80s pace, maybe if EA was nice, give him 90 pace. They gave him plus 11 pace from his team in the season, 94 pace for a KDB card. Now they changed this position to right forward, which is a little bit less than desired, especially because you had the Eden Hazard which is no longer live. We'll talk about that, but the Eden Hazard card is a Belgian that is a right wing right forward of course too. So Two cards in the same position, I think makes this KDB maybe a little bit cheaper as we go on throughout the week. But Modric, big time card they put in today. Locatelli in there. Spinazzola as well. Also prayers to him uh, with the Achilles injury. That was tough to watch yesterday. But what a great player he has been for Italy uh, in this Euro competition. Calvin Phillips got the card for the English nationality playing today. Trying to secure their sp uh, spot in the semifinals. Uh, I think we were hoping for, you know, Sterling or something along those lines, but also there could be a team two coming. So we'll talk about that and there could be more cards coming. Laporte with the nation change, pretty hyped up card in the team. Spanish nationality, 90 pace. That card's a dub. Richarlison's card looks pretty good as well. He's always a, F a FIFA fan favorite. Isak getting an upgrade above his team of the season, which is a W. Of course, Dumfries, Bravo is the goalkeeper. And then Christensen with a Premier League center back. Pretty cheap card, not bad. Chelsea links, so Chelsea fans are happy about that one. But overall, the juice that they did on these cards today was fantastic. I mean, this Modric card seriously looks insane. You take a look at how they boosted him up from his 92 rated for birthday. They gave him plus 10 pace, plus 9 defense, plus 10 physical, and plus 7 shooting. Huge boost. Now, they didn't do any skill mover weak foot upgrades, which I think they could have done. But they didn't. Overall, I think people are very, very happy with the team that is in packs today. And the prices aren't too terrible, right? I think if we're all being honest, a lot of this team is pretty affordable for where we think they should be at, right? Messi's new card is 2.6 million coins at the moment. Uh, so, of course, you have the Messi card that is expensive. You've got Ronaldo that is expensive and De Bruyne. Uh, but then other than that, those are the only cards over a million coins. I don't think De Bruyne's going to stay over a million for long. Uh, now, I was a little bit, I guess, disappointed to see how the pack weight on these cards was lower than expected. Now, the pack weight on these cards for 50k lightning rounds, we were hoping yesterday, we said that maybe it was going to be around the 5% range. It was actually 2.5%, 2 I think 25 to 2.9% was the actual pack percentage out of 50k packs, which was low. And I think we were a bit disappointed by that with these cards today. But of course, they still got plenty of supply with the preview packs and with all the saved up packs that were out there. There were definitely opportunities to get involved with some of these items. Uh, in the first hour, if you guys were around during the content shop, Laporte's brand new item uh, went down to 300K flat and then exploded to 400,000 coins with the hype. Um, and then of course, later on, went back down under 300K and is now back above 330, 340,000 coins. Messi, uh, was down to like 2.4. A, a lot of these prices got really cheap during the Belgium Italy game. So kind of during that third to fourth hour after the promo started, it was just people were watching the games. They weren't getting involved with these cards. And that's kind of what happened. Now I bought myself some items as well. You can see my coin total is down. I bought three Richarlison's. 
um, at 900K, and I got a lucky snipe on one at 845,000 coins. Now, he was just a mil. He's very rare. This, this item is very, very rare. I think I'll be able to get high 900s. I got one out at 990, and I had the rest listed there, but his, his price has kind of been undercut since then. So that was a really nice trade. If I can execute these last two in the high 900s, that'd be a lot of coins right there. And I picked with Charleston because he's just always rare. And he, of course, Brazil is playing tonight, and uh, there's some hype around that nation, of course, as they're playing Chile, which right now it's halftime, it is nil-nil. So that's definitely something that a lot of people have their eyes on in FIFA at the moment. But a lot of these cards are just hype, right? Again, the ESOC card, everybody knows how they get destroyed by the objective ESOC team of the season card that was released during La Liga Tots. And this guy's fantastic. I, I don't even want to think about how good this 95 rated ESOC is at striker. So that's a W. In terms of the content of uh, cards that were in packs, just tremendous Ws. Now, talking a little bit into today on Saturday, how are these guys' prices going to react? I think they're going to keep going down. I honestly think they do with more lightning rounds almost guaranteed to come today since uh, Saturdays bring lightning rounds as well. Your 50, 100, and 125K lightning rounds, I expect these guys to get supplied more and to drop a little bit more as well. Kind of maybe getting low again during the um, the late game today, which is England against Ukraine. The second game of the day today on Saturday, of course, if it's coming home, you guys are watching and you're involved there. So definitely keep an eye on those cards dropping a little bit into the content drop as people expect supply. But then also with preview packs and with lightning rounds, those cards are going to get supplied a decent amount more on the market. Now we'll talk more about today as well in just a second, but focusing back on yesterday just again, the Goosens card is our FOF nation player for Germany, and he is an objective. It is not a Summer Stars item, it is just a, a, a nation player. So this Goosens card requires 10 separate squad battles uh, or rivals, so not a bad grind for a card or for a player that it has performed very, very well. Decent card, nothing crazy. And then SBC wise, was pretty much like we expected as well. We had a Jerdan Shakiri, which this card almost had a ton of hype because, uh, you know, this game went to pens yesterday between Switzerland and Spain. What an absolute crazy game. Uh, and yeah, I, I think there would be a lot more hype for this SBC if Switzerland would have won that because this would have been like the face player in FIFA of that country just, you know, going on a crazy run. But unfortunately, they were not able to convert. And instead, that was a bad voice crack. But instead, we have our upgrades to our Spanish live cards. Now, the, the upgrades, they did not do a double upgrade. Uh, Urente has not been upgraded tonight. Neither has Morata. So I think we're expecting next Friday is when we would think that Marcus Urente and Morata would get upgraded with the next set of upgrades. But of course, as we have seen EA be inconsistent this past week and update cards on a random Wednesday night, that is possible that could happen again this week. So Urente is going to go to 196, and uh, I think Morata is going to go to 195, plus two for the Spain lads because they got their third win as a part of the Euro 2020. So that was the content yesterday, right? I think Shakiri is a decent SBC, and his price started off pretty expensive. But as we expected yesterday with SBC fodder as well, a lot of the fodder went absolutely crazily downwards because again all of that supply and a lot of the SBCs going away a lot of the stuff went down now I think 84s and 85s those are kind of my you know just like base to see where the market was going these went pretty low man 84s were down at like five and a half k now they're back up a little bit most of them are six thousand coins a piece 85s are 9k 10k 86s are 16 to 17 thousand coins these could go a little bit lower today depending on what the content is again more supply and, and when we had these card prices get low in the past few weeks. Usually it was like Saturday and Sunday were the lower times on the market. You see these fluctuations here, right? You see Saturdays and Sundays being the lowest point kind of in the dips before they would go up into the week. And of course, last week we had a crazy, crazy rise. So uh, I would seriously today and tomorrow be looking to get involved with a club stock on fodder because I do think that they're going to keep the content rolling this week. I expect more of those upgrade packs. I mean, shoot, they might release some sort of like summer stars guaranteed or like a summer stars or PTG or team of the season player pick type thing. I expect those types of packs to be coming this week as well as maybe more 83 times 10, 82 plus times eight, maybe an 87 plus or like an 84 plus player pick and stuff like that. I could see all sorts of those packs coming this week too, which would bring more demand to that SBC market. Now, of course, 
there's going to be more SBC demand regardless because since these prices are a lot cheaper, let's take a look at the Ramos SBC. How much is he to do right now? Ramos is 870,000 coins, which is almost spot on where we called it. Um, I knew that this James Rodriguez is going to drop a lot too. He's now only 130K. And the US Nation players, which was once 400K to do, is now only 271,000 coins. So if you waited until the weekend, like we were talking about, SBC fodder dropped off a bunch. Uh, and I think it's a it's a way better time to do SBCs. Now, of course, we should get upgrade packs. That will be tomorrow, most likely on Sunday. Um, and if you really wanted to wait to craft, you could wait until then. If you wanted to try to do upgrade packs, I mean, I'm expecting that we get some sort of upgrade packs on the weekend. Uh, and then you could even craft better with that. But, um, you know, SBC cards are very cheap. So if you want to go out and do an SBC, by all means, feel free. It's July, right? A lot of people were coming to me right now and said, hey, when should I buy this card? When should I do this? When should I do this SBC? Just do it, man. It's July. This is the last. We're on the home stretch of the game. Just do it. Have fun. Buy the cards you want to buy. Use the players you want to use. You've worked hard all year trading and playing this game to uh, hold yourself out too much longer. So that's kind of my thoughts on the situation if that's you or if you're having any of those questions in your mind. But again, we had some big time PTG movements yesterday because of Belgian, Belgium losing in their game against Italy. This Eden Hazard card was down to 600,000 coins flat post game, rebounded to 700k and is now back down like the 660, 650 range. But big drop off on this card. I, it makes sense, right? Because he is no longer alive. Same thing with Thorgan Hazard. Big drop off on that card as well. You'll probably see some more drop offs today. I mean, of course, you've got the Denmark Czech Republic game today. There's not as many cards on the line, if you will, today on Saturday with the games. But of course, if England were for, for some reason, and I'm not trying to speak this into existence, if for some reason they were not able to win against Ukraine today, then you would see Foden and Chilwell, of course, drop off a bunch. That'd be a huge, huge upset. So, of course, keep an eye out for any of those cards if and when they do potentially have a loss. Again, you know those drop-offs are coming and it's all kind of risk-based, right? So, But again, you probably will see this Hazard bounce back because he has a lot of hype. Still a very, very, very good card. He's not going to get the 5-star, five 5-star, five or the 99 rated. But... Still a very, very good card in this game. Now, again, let's focus on Saturday today just a little bit. What sort of content could we be seeing today? I would just expect it to be kind of a quieter day. Of course, there's like a pro event that is going on right now on the weekend. Like the EA Sports channel is live like all day. Um, so usually when that stuff is going on too on the weekends, they keep it a little bit more low key. And I would describe yesterday on Friday as like a normal Friday slash low key Friday uh, with just one SBC, with just one objective. Probably another player SBC of some sorts today on Saturday would be something that I expect, uh, whether it's a Summer Stars player, some sort of moments or a flashback, something along those lines I could expect to see today on this Saturday. And maybe, of course, you know, your usual future uh, festival of football challenge, you know, one of those types of SBCs as well. But I wouldn't expect a lot of content today. And then Sunday is when we would maybe expect a decent amount of stuff to happen on this game and on this market. So again, what everybody's gonna be looking at is just these brand new cards, trying them out. And again, I, I don't think people are confused and think that these are live cards because, you know, I, unless this Calvin Phillips rises up a crazy amount, um, I really don't feel like people are, are gonna buy into this because they know that these cards are not live. Um, it's not like the Spanish, or sorry, not Spanish, the, um, well, yeah, the Spanish card Laporte didn't have a huge crazy rise post game today. Uh, like it was a live card that people are expecting to upgrade and the Italian cards didn't have a huge drop off like people were expecting them to upgrade and they're not going to. So um, it, I don't think people are confused about these people. No, it's just uh, it's a one time permanent upgrade on these items. So again, also from the loading screen and from the little text they're using, these cards are in packs until July 9th, which is next Friday, the 9th. Um, and Summer Stars is officially over on the 16th. So that makes us believe there's going to be a Team 2. And of course, when they say Team 1's in packs, then usually that means a Team 2 is coming. So a Team 2 should be in packs next Friday, which of course, a lot of people were hoping for a Neymar, you know, maybe a Lukaku to get another special card. Some players, Benzema as well, that we thought could have got into this, that after we see how much they're kind of juicing up all this content for Summer Stars, we definitely could see a pretty juiced team number two. So hopefully Neymar would be a part of that. Hopefully Benzema could be a part of that and some other big names depending on what players and what nationalities continue to do well over the next week 
of these competitions. So I think overall people are just pretty pleased. They're very happy with the content that was released yesterday. The players and packs are a W, the stat boosts are a W. And uh, yeah, I think that's just kind of the aura of how people are feeling in this game right now. They're just very pleased with the content that was released and it was worth waiting for, I think you would say. So hopefully the SBC content continues this week in a very, I guess, good value manner. And we would love to see that heading throughout this week. Some pack SBCs, maybe a guaranteed Summer Stars pack. That'd be very nice. Get you a shot at La Messi, Ronaldo, De Bruyne, one of those big boy cards this week in FIFA. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, if you are a fan of this promo, let me know why down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's been Nate, the photo accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.